Hi, and welcome to my 1 to 99 crafting guide for old school RuneScape in 2022. Crafting is a very easy skill to get to 99 these days because it doesn't cost much money compared to what it has in the past and it's actually really fast. The main methods you'll use to get to 99 for a bulk of it are upwards of 300k XP an hour so you can get 99 extremely fast in this skill. And you can bank stand all day. Before I actually show you how to get 99 crafting, what is crafting? Pretty self-explanatory, but crafting is a skill that allows you to create items, jewelry, weapons, and other things for XP and use. At level 99, you get the crafting cape, and the perk for it is extremely good, being the ability to teleport inside the crafting guild an unlimited amount of times, and this is useful because it's only 7 tiles away from a bank. Now let's talk about quests that reward XP for crafting. Tons of quests give crafting XP, but most of them are pretty negligible amounts. Shown on screen is a list of all of them from the wiki, and feel free to complete none or as many as you'd like. Before I start, I want to say I've tested and done all of these methods myself, but I will additionally be using charts found on the wiki for the video for the sake of presentation. There's a few different routes you could take to 99, and first, like all of my guides, I'm going to show you the route that I personally would take, being a mix of fast XP and cost effectiveness, and then I'll get into some alternative methods for extreme cost effectiveness or extreme XP. So we're going to start off at level 1, and that's going to be crafting leather items. You're going to need a needle, thread, and some leather. One thread gives you about 5 uses, so you'll need about 50 thread to get to level 20 crafting, which is super cheap. Shown on screen is a chart showing pieces of leather gear to craft from 1 to 20, starting with gloves, boots, cowls, van braces, and then ending with leather bodies. The exact amount of leather you need is shown on screen for each stage of leveling and the total cost. Going from 1 to 20 will cost less than 100k. Now that you're at level 20, this is where we unlock our first gem that we can cut using a chisel. As you go up in levels, you'll unlock more and more gems to cut, going to emerald, ruby, diamond, and dragonstone. These progressively get more and more expensive, but the XP rates can get pretty crazy, with dragonstones giving about 370k XP per hour. Granted though, I would probably never do diamond or dragonstone as the price will add up extremely fast. So we're going to start at level 20 and cut about 106 sapphires to get to 27 crafting. Then we will do 156 emeralds to get 34 crafting. And then a whopping 1536 rubies to get to level 54 crafting. Obviously, going from 34 to 54 will take a little chunk of money, so if you're not willing to, you can stick with doing sapphires as they cost less money. It'll just take a smidge longer. Not too much longer though, as the XP rates of sapphires are still 100k XP an hour. Or, if you don't feel like doing these at all, you can see later in the video for cheaper alternative methods of leveling. Going from 34 to 54 will cost you around 700k, maybe 500k, it depends on how the market is doing that day but that's how much it will cost for doing the rubies, if my calculations are right. But as you can see on screen in all of the charts I'm showing, you do see the profit per XP and the profit per item made. So the reason we stop at 54 is because this is where we unlock battle staffs. And we'll actually be doing battle staffs in this first method from 54 all the way to 99. The reason we do that, shown on screen, is because it's actually really good XP rates and pretty cost effective in terms of profit per XP, being around an average of minus 2.7 gold per XP. Right off the bat at 54 crafting, you can take 14 battle staffs, 14 water orbs, combine them in your inventory for 245k XP per hour. At 58 you can switch to earth battle staffs, 62 you can switch to fire, and 66 you can switch to air. If you don't want to switch to air, because they are a little more money than fire, you can just do fire all the way to 99, but that's up to you if you want to do a little more research to see what is best for you. To go from 66 to 99 using air battle staffs, based off of the current prices, it will cost you around 30 million GP. If you would have done this a year ago, it probably would have costed you about 16 mil, so the market is in a weird place, but a few years ago it would have costed you even more, so... But like I said before, if you want to stick with another method because it's cheaper, that's all good. Considering the other fast alternative, which is Dehide Bodies, I would rather do Battle Staffs 
pretty much every single time, just because of the extreme price of Dragonhide bodies. Speaking of Dragonhide bodies and alternatives, since the main route is covered to 99, which is extremely straightforward and simple, let's talk about the alternatives. Some people opt to do Dragonhide bodies from 63 to 99, but as you can see on the chart right now, the price will be far more expensive. Green Dehide bodies are actually pretty competitive with air battle staffs, but it is a little less XP. Black Dehide bodies will give you upwards of 400k XP per hour, but you will lose somewhere around 2k GP every single body you make. Like I said again, I would definitely do battle staffs over Dehide bodies, but maybe that's just me. Maybe you're super impatient and you want to just completely grind the skill as fast as you can. Just have a big bank. And I could be reading these charts wrong, but the proof's right here, and I will also have these exact charts linked in the description as the prices are always updated and always changing, so one day one could be better, one day the other. Now let's talk about other alternative methods from actually going from 1 to 99. A method that I believe Iron Men do, and if you're extremely poor you could look into, is molten glass blowing. This requires an inventory of molten glass and then a glass blowing pipe. And as you can see on the chart, there's several different things you can do, starting at level 1 with beer glass all the way up to level 87. As you can see at 46, you unlock Unpowered Orbs, which is actually an extremely good minus 0.02 GP per XP, so you're almost losing nothing, but still just a tiny amount, and it is 91k XP per hour, and it is pretty AFK. And as you can see, the maximum you can get is making Empty Light Orbs at about 122k XP per hour. Another alternative, which I see free-to-play people do, Iron Men normal players is crafting bracelets and that's because this actually can make you profit and pretty decent profit as you can see on the chart here starting at level 7 you can do gold bracelets all the way to 74 you can do dragonstone bracelets you gotta be careful again doing this kind of stuff it's a little niche making some stuff like jade bracelets or opal bracelets because they might not sell right away so you gotta be careful but the XP rates do go from about 40k XP per hour at level 7, all the way to 154k XP, and it's pretty AFK, you just use the Edgeville Furnace, or if you have Song of the Elves, you can do Priftinus. If you're really low level doing this though, I would probably assume you don't have the Priftinus one, but keep that in mind. As you can see, Emerald Bracelets, 91k XP per hour. For every single XP you get, it's about 3.7 GP profit. And every single bracelet you make, you make about 243 GP. So it's not horrible. You could look in at level 89 to making Amethyst Dart Tips. It's about 165k XP per hour, and the profit is about 0.65 GP per XP. I'm sure I've said this about 50 times now, but you can't always just trust that immediately, always look at the prices, the volume, the daily trading volume. You can make an entire inventory and then no one actually buys it for that price even though it's set at that price so you lose a lot of money. And that actually about covers every single main method. Uh, there could be some really niche ones people use but these are all the main ones that you're going to be looking at. I would still recommend regardless doing the leather items, the gems, and the staffs or if you don't feel like spending money or you don't have the money to spend just do uh, crafting the bracelets. It's super easy. The only main method that I didn't really cover is super glass make, and that will be on the wiki link that I linked down below. It's basically using Lunar Diplomacy, the Lunar Spellbook, to make glass, molten glass, and you get crafting XP and some magic XP. I've never tested it, so I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, yeah, I've done it, it's really good. That will be a research project for yourself. I would just stick with what I recommended here but that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Let's go for 3k subs, more videos to come, more guides, entertainment. Uh, my Discord's in the description. I have a clan called Ye, Y-E, not aging well, but check it out. Thanks for watching. See ya.